Just to let my neurology colleagues know what's going on in the United States, a uh, uh, was approved last year for the prevention of episodic migraine in the United States. And at the AHS meeting, Peter Goadsby presented the regulatory pivotal trial on a Japan in the prevention of chronic migraine. And this was a very positive study uh, with reduction of monthly migraine days by three months uh, of, of around seven at the 60 milligram dose. So a drop of seven days at three months. And based on this study, a toe Japan will be submitted to the FDA for regulatory approval for all migraine, chronic, episodic, with and without aura. And by the way, there was another paper presented on a toe Japan at the AHS meeting that showed a weight loss associated with a toe Japan use. So that's going to be worth watching. Another paper that was presented uh, by Kate Mullen was of the regulatory trial of nasal zavegepant as an acute treatment for migraine. And this was a very large study, uh, 1,269 patients. Two-hour pain-free numbers were about 24% for the zavegepant. And based on that study, zavegepant will be submitted to the FDA for acute treatment of migraine. And when approved, it will be the third GPANT that we have approved by the FDA for acute treatment of migraine in the U.S. And with the atojapant, will will be the fifth treatment uh, approved for both episodic and chronic migraine on top of the four uh, monoclonal antibodies. And if we add onabotulinum toxin A, then we'll have six approved treatments in the United States for chronic migraine.